Hey, this is Chandler for Melder Production, and today I want to talk to you about M-Drummer and how to use it. So, lots of people seem to be confused about M-Drummer because it can actually do lots of different things. It can be used as a traditional drum machine where you just have single shot samples, so it's good for hip hop or EDM, but it can also be used as a multi-velocity drum sampler, so you can use it for rock or any type of acoustic music. So today I want to show you how you can use it and quickly you know, get up to speed with setting it up and getting a track going. So here we are. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it down a few decibels because I don't know how loud this is going to be. And the next thing what we're going to do here is look here under the selector and we're going to choose a kit. I don't know exactly what I want but uh, let's try medium one. So just double click this or click and hit load here. It'll load up the kit for me. Now move over here and these are our rhythms. And the rhythms will let you choose different styles etc. Let's try rock basic one. Click play and hear what it sounds like. Okay maybe that's what I want. I don't know. Uh, let's try something else. I think I want something a little bit funkier, actually. So let's try this. Okay, I like that funky. And you're probably wondering, like, will this sync to tempo? It seems like it's not synced, and it's not. But there is actually a way we can do this. And we do that by going in here, setting up some MIDI item. It can be anything. And as soon as I play this, it will sync up automatically, like this. It just needs that first MIDI command to play from the host, and it'll sync it up for you. So, so now it's at our tempo in the DAW, 90 beats per minute. You can also tap tempo if you like. But let's look at a few of the other rhythms to find a rhythm we really like. I like that third one, but now let's look here for a different drum kit. I like that one. So from here, let's look at the different variations on the rhythm. So each of these might seem at first like, oh, these are just one rhythm, but they're actually not. They're a collection of rhythms. So here it's showing us three, but there's actually many more. But let's see how each of the three sound. I'll go through them and notice the transitions when I switch between them. So you can hear they all have the basic feel, uh, you know, it's the same, but the symbols are different, so it has a variation between the verses, chorus, etc. And I like that. But now, let's say I want to add something else to this. Um, I don't know, maybe some tambourines or shakers. So let me look and see if I have tambourines and shakers in here. So I can just look at all these, and it looks like I do have a shaker. Looks like I have a tambourine. So that's good, but in my rhythms, I don't have that. So there's an easy way to add it in there. I just look here for utility background percussion. And let's add, let's add a tambourine. Okay. And there's a bunch of different patterns here. I'll just click this one here and click merge. Now it added that tambourine rhythm to the original rhythm we had. Now let's listen to it. I like that, it has a nice tambourine part. And the only thing I think it needs to be changed, I want to add some effects, like some reverb. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to effects, go to send one, 
look here and add a reverb. Let's try chamber, like a medium chamber. Let's try chamber one, set this to 100%. Now I'll go to our mixer. And here I'm going to add some volume to the send. Let me turn it on so I can hear it. So I added a little bit of reverb there just because I wanted a little bit of space on the snare. So now everything's sounding the way I want it to sound, but now I need to change this into a song. So let's look at the song here. Now here it's a pre-made song, but I want to change that. Let's say I want to do kind of like a funky blues. So I'll just click here, hold the shift key down, highlight it, and now I'm going to clear everything. So first I want an intro. Quick intro it adds it for me automatically now I want a verse so it added three bars here and then it added a fill now let's try another verse and then one more and so that is actually 12 bars so that's my blues there so I want to change a few things because I don't want it to be exactly the same on every single repeat so the first one, I'll leave it as it is. The second one, I'm going to move the level up to about 50%. Let's also move the fill up to about 50%. This one, I'll move the fill up to about 50% also. And here, let's make this much higher, like 75. And I'll change the index too, to get something a little bit different. Now, let's enable it and play it, and let's hear how it sounds. I'm sorry, I should play it from the start. So click the start button. So I'm liking that, but let's say, ah, this was a bit too much. Let me move this down here because I wanted to repeat the same thing I did there and then change there. So that part's pretty good. But now I think, okay, that was good, but I want more. Now I want to really like heat up. So I'm going to copy this here by just clicking on it, shifting, clicking here. So I'm highlighting all these, right clicking, copying, and then paste. So now I have the exact same thing, but I want to increase the intensity. So this, I'm going to move everything up to around 80, okay? And then I'll go to the individual parts. So this one, let's move it down. This, I'll move up, and this, oh, sorry, I want to just highlight one. So this one, I'll move like to 25, the index. That will create a different fill. Uh, this one, 75, that's good. And this one, let's see, 98. So let's start here. This is the last fill coming out of the first chorus. So let's hear that and go into the second part. So there, it was very easy to just create this song. Uh, that's it for today. I'll show you another method for actually creating a song later. And 
I'll show you different things you can do with the channels and the drum set editor and rhythm editors, etc. But just doing something like this is an easy way to get a rhythm together with sounds and get it into your DAW. So it's a very quick and easy way to make your own songs. But stay tuned for the second edition and more videos about M Drummer. Subscribe if you haven't done that. Check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com. And until next time, see you.